What is going on guys? Wiser here and as you can tell I am very excited to be here. I am bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0 and it happens to be against this clan called One Hive. Oh wait, that's the 1.0 clan. Yes folks, this is the one we are all waiting for. It finally went down and boy did it go down. Uh, 1.0 came out the gate swinging furiously and bagged an insane and absurd amount of first attack three stars on us. Really, you know, kind of had 2.0 back on the ropes. 2.0 came out swinging hard again off the ropes and really tied it up and made this a war and a fight to the finish. It was one of the most amazing, it was the most amazing war I have ever had the luxury of being part of. Um, some amazing attacks from both sides just such a great job uh and yeah we we just had so much fun just unbelievable one thing i do want to say about the 1.0 clan you know i've been watching jake's videos and 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 their the 1.0 recaps and and everything for a long long time over a year at least i i can't remember how long you have no clue how good these guys really are until you're thrown into a dogfight against them because the amount of first attack three stars I saw just coming out the gates three star after three star after three star on our nines and really just you know we were still all in our planning phases and they're just just lighting us up right off the hop hold my beer jumped out in the first minute of the of the war and just boom three star you know an hour later boom another three star three star impressed i was floored the the amount of first attack three stars they got was absurd and that's just skill you can't mod that i see all these comments going around on on twitter and and twitch and stuff talking about oh 1.0 has modders give me a break okay first of all if there was modders in any 1.0 or 2.0 clan they'd be out as in a flash if it was ever found out and on top of that the amount of first attack, there, there's no way. There is no possible way. This was a clean, fair war. Was awesome. We all had so much fun. Uh, and yeah, hats off to the 1.0 clan because nothing, I, 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 nothing short of impressive is is all I can say. Uh, the way you guys came out of that in that war and just nailed it and nailed it and nailed it we were i know at least for myself i was my jaw was on the floor with how well you guys were doing and another thing that really put my jaw on the floor was how well you know you had 2.0 right back on the ropes in the first half of that war and 2.0 came right back off those ropes swinging and tied it up took the lead at some points right we had used finally once we caught up on attacks we had we had the lead and it went back and forth for a bit and it the, <laughs> unreal you don't get that is why we this is why we play clash of clans this is the content we we desire this is this is what all the fair play clans want the feeling you get when the score goes back and forth back and forth after every attack and you know they're all legitimate attacks there's no feeling like that no video game makes does that like there's there's nothing out there and i again i've said this before i cannot express to the supercell group how they need to address this for us and make it just easier for us to do this because we will play this forever if if you just give us that ability so enough of that great war i'm going to flip over and show you the score now um oops sorry i mean to go there that's where i meant to go <clears throat> 98 97 by one star and it was you know they had a little bit higher of a uh, destruction so if it was a tie it still would have went to the 1.0 clan um but let's just roll through you know they got twos on all of our tens they did not get any uh 10 triples and they cleaned up all the nines every single one of them well done 1.0 i would expect nothing less from you guys uh, let's take a look at what we did here so we did the same on the tens twos on all the tens and we missed Piro. Grass Piro, you were the one Town Hall 9 left standing in this war. So good for you, bud. Other than that, we cleared the lines. So as you can see, that was the difference in the score right there. We missed uh, 2.0, missed one of the nines. 1.0 cleaned it up, and that was, a re that, that, that was the result in score. So again, like I said, war still would have went in 1.0's favor had we uh, got Piro, but 
Uh, it's hard to say what the average destruction would have changed to. Who knows? Great war. Lots of fun. Honestly, I got so many replays to show you guys. This is going to be a long video because I didn't want to leave any of the important attacks out. So um, we are just going to continue on to my first markdown attack here. Number 14. I've been going in. I've done a nice little queen walk here with Earthquake. I think he starts from this uh, about 1 o'clock position. Yeah, right on that 1 o'clock cannon. Drops the giant, drops three healers. I like how he does that with the giant. Really just takes the heat off the queen for the time being. He didn't want the crossbow locking onto the queen right away and just having, while well, she's clearing trash, having it risk having her go down. So she's moving in on those defensive buildings. He's going to take out basically that whole 12 o'clock section. Things are looking great at this point. Once she clears that out, he is going to send in a shattered entry with Earthquake. He's got a couple heals for 20 hogs on the back end. There go his golems. He gets a nice drop on this golem, kind of walks it over to that mortar while he can get a funnel going down on that side. There go the wizards. Funnel is getting created. Things looking pretty good at this point. Queen's still going good. That uh, The healers are taking fire from that air sweeper. But uh, things are looking great. He's about to open up this wall. There it goes. Earthquakes let everything into this core. Queen chamber's open. Air defense is open, right? That really good value on that earthquake. CC troops come out. Poison goes down. Queen is going to start doing work on these guys. There goes one balloon. There goes two balloons. She's locked onto the drag now. That wizard's on it too. Taking it down. King goes in here now. A bit of a scare in this raid. King goes down before the queen goes down. So the queen is still alive. Now he is going to send in a few hogs kind of just sprinkled in on this side just to kind of help take some DPS off of that queen. He needs to buy this queen time now to take that defensive queen down. He st still sends in a few more hogs from that 6 o'clock. She hasn't quite locked on. She was locked onto the Golemite, but now she's turning on the hogs. So that's not good. But in one second, you're going to see as soon as that king goes down, Boom. Queen locks on the defensive queen. She's going down. Hogs are okay. He still has some cleanup troops to drop. I think he drops one with a couple wizards back here. Really, there's only three more defenses to go. Ivan just rocked this base. Good job, buddy. Heal in the perfect spot. Just perfect. You knew that was there, but air defense, last defense to go down. It's about to go down. Then those hogs are going to turn on those skeletons, and it is go time. Nice work, Ivan. Just rocked it. And that's a three-star. Beautiful. All right, so let's move down the chains. We got PB and J, the one-star king. He showed us he's also got a little bit of three-star in him this war. PB and J, a little background story, is a recent defect from cold September to the 1.0 uh clan <clears throat> so i know shag's gonna really appreciate me uh showing this three star by logic beats going in 15 on 15 he's just gonna bring a shattered in from the nine o'clock goes ahead and creates his funnel four wizards are down just kind of opening everything up what i thought was funny about this attack was i'm sure you guys have all been here oh and wall breaker fail Logic keeps his composure. It's so easy at this point to just freak out and not know what to do. Logic keeps his composure. Gets the other golem down so it starts beating on the wall. He gets his king down here right in a second to continue helping with that wall. There it is. He doesn't want the king to walk down to this uh, elixir mine, which I'm actually sort of surprised it didn't. But it just turns and starts beating on the wall too. Boom. Wall is now open. And it's just like the plan was still on on track with what it what he meant so uh poison goes down takes care of these cc troops a lot of archers and a dragon really those are going to go down at one second crossbow's going to go down queen's going to lock onto this dragon and there she goes dragon's getting beat oh wait she's on the town hall for a second here there she goes she reroutes onto the dragon king hops in defensive queen is now taken care of down she goes, so he sends in a few hogs just to get rid of this expo, clear out this bottom side of the compartment. And then he's going to continue with the 15 hogs and three heals. Great heal placement on this raid. Here comes the first one because he knows there's a bomb right here going off in one moment. There it is. 
Hogs are under the heels though. They get right back up. No problem. Next heel goes down over this single giant bomb. When you come at a base like this with four singles, it really makes it a lot easier for you to deal with when you're hogging because you know if you just know where they are and you pre-heal, they'll be okay. Uh, it's really, really a lot easier to deal with on cleanup than... Uh, uh, then a double giant bomb that's really well buried. Uh, anyhow, Slash seals down. He's got the last few hogs in reinforcing just that Tesla and air defense to go. And he's on cleanup. Logic just killed it even with the wall breaker fail, man. Good job. Way to keep your composure through that. Oh, there's. Oh, there was a DGB in this base. I thought it was singles. My bad. But he really kept his hogs completely away from that the whole time. So well done, Logic. Nice, nice three. All right, what do we got next here? Oh, here's a good one. We're going to drop one more down to number 17, Zerds, hitting Jake. This, I believe, was a fresh hit as well. Uh, Zerds comes in. Uh, he's bringing a stoned uh, Lalo. So he's really only leaving himself with one Lava Hound and 19 Balloons. So he's going heavy on the Loons, light on the tanking, because he does have this Stone Army going in. He really wants to get it all into the core to do a lot of tanking for things like the crossbows and stuff. He does bring two jumps, which is nice here. First jump gets him into this compartment. Second jump's going to get him access to the Queen. Poison goes down, takes care of those CC troops. A couple of Valks in there are going to kind of hang out. They don't do much to a King if they don't get enough shots off, especially under Poison. King's going to take him out. Queen's locked on too. CC troops are down. Still has his golems moving in. His goal here is get these three short side air defenses and the queen. So one defense goes down. Queen's going to work on that Tesla. Hop over, take this other air defense. The second air defense is now down via the golems and king. King hops in, takes care of the defense of queen. She's down, so now he can send in his air attack. See, there's one lone Lava Hound. He gets great, great distance on that. Soaks up those traps, which is nice, off these balloons. Three loons on each defense, two on these ones. Just kind of gets a spread around the whole base because he's got tanking going on from his queen. He doesn't quite end up, I think, getting this section because uh, of that Tesla popping, but uh, not a big deal at this point. He does have a heal down as well for his balloons. I thought that was strange. I think initially he was going to use it on his kill squad, but he didn't need to. Um, you know, a couple haste actually might have been really nice at this point in the raid to speed things up, but the heal definitely brought him all back up to full health. Loses a couple to uh, some mines. It's no big deal. There goes two more, but this one archer tower is like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> and it goes down. Beautiful attack, Zerds, like the first fresh hit on Jake. Great attack. Just clean up from this point. And that's your three star. Nice job, Zerds. All right, I love showing Cash the monster. Cash is one of the, in my opinion, one of the best attackers on 2.0. He really knows how to use these Valks. He really loves the double jump. Double jump, especially on an anti three star base, is extremely hard to defend if the person who's attacking knows what they're doing, which Cash definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, this was one of the later attacks uh, in the war, which really helped keep us in the game we really needed this three star to to stay within range of a win uh so cash just brought the heat here look at him just wait he clears out these compartments so much patience gets the jump down golem start to reroute he's about to send in his king the rest of the valks and then his queen in behind there goes the queen and everything as soon he's just waiting for the clan castle to come out i believe there it is it's a hound anyways so looking good at this point because the hound's not gonna do anything to these valks double jump goes down basically letting the valks into this whole back section of base and he's got 22 hogs and two heels in the bag for them things are looking great there goes a giant bomb he's already triggered two bombs now sends in a few hogs at the six o'clock position just slowly taking out the crossbow. A few nice spring traps. One thing I'm going to say about 1.0 real quick was I was absolutely blown away at how good their spring trap placements were. Um, just fantastic base setups uh, for these guys. Really, their base designers do gr a great job, that's for sure. Um, unfortunately, great base designers don't stand a chance when your name's Cash and you're bringing a heat like this. So Cash just keeps rolling in. He's still got a few Valks doing cleanup. Queen's in there, just burnt her ability, so she's going to go down in a second, but it doesn't matter. He's got a huge pack of hogs moving this last section with a heal. He's looking good. 
boom right under the heel for that last bomb two teslas and a mortar don't stand a chance to that many hogs tesla's gonna go down hogs are gonna turn around and take down that defensive king in a heartbeat or maybe not a couple of them a couple of them go after him look how far he traveled chasing those hogs that is that is laughable defensive king goes down really it's cleanup looking good cash the monster just bringing the heat way to keep us in this war buddy that was a great attack at a great moment very clutch all right couldn't get through this recap without at least showing one invicta representative dota my buddy fairly new to the invicta group but he has been ripping it up since he's been with us he's one of our top i think he is our top town hall nine so he's going in on Mrazlbeck, Mr. Yazbek, I guess. Sorry, <laughs> struggling, struggling on some of the names here, but uh, Mr. Yaz, we'll call him. Just feels the pain from uh, from our uh, Invicta representative here. Dota brings a bit of a queen charge, actually. I think he takes out this part and then opens this up. I believe doesn't stray her far from the kill squad. He really just wants to take out this section with just the queen. He creates his funnel on the bottom side, and then he's going to open this up and lets everything else in. He's got, again, a double jump. I can't express how effective double jump really is against a lot of these bases, guys. Uh, it's very hard to defend against when you know what you're doing. So uh, jump is going to go down in one second. Going to open this section up. Queen's going to hang back here, help take out these defenses. Everything's going to move into this compartment, and then he's going to open up the compartment to the queen. Out comes a golem from the CC. That's a, always a bit of, of a surprise. I do like having the very diverse clan castles, though. You can't just stick a hound on a loon. Uh, I've covered that in other videos, how predictable that tends to be. Uh, the only problem here is exactly what the golem does. It just hangs the king up. The king should be going after this defensive queen. But he's just stuck on the golem for the longest time. Once these golemites go down, though, this king isn't taking much damage. He does have his golems in there. Double drops the heals to really get healing over this Tesla hell. Brings in so many hogs into that queen chamber. There's the last Tesla popping, but look at all these hogs. This, this compartment just doesn't stand a chance. And really, he's now taken out the whole base. Like, those hogs only have this... After this crossbow and archer tower go down, they have one archer tower left, and the queen's about to go at it. I don't think they make it there before the queen gets it. Maybe they do, but it doesn't matter. It is clean up from this point. Dota just killed it, man. Great attack. Glad to see Invicta well represented here. Good job, buddy. All right, and what would be a recap without showing my man Sparta? Sparta comes in with this cleanup attack here. Reads it very well. I love the patience he, he brings here. Drops his golems, drops his wizards for the funnel. He's just going to take out this whole top section of the base before he does anything else. Slowly but surely, all these trash buildings are getting taken out. He's going to drop, I believe, uh, a jump spell over the basically over the air defense there to get to that queen. But again, such good patience here. He drops that third golem finally. He doesn't even know what to do because there's barely any buildings left up here. This other golem uh, finally takes the CC troops out. So great patience on your king, Sparta. Jump is now down. Uh, poison's over top that CC, so it's barely doing anything that one golem that's in there. This full full health max golem's uh, now moving in towards that jump, so he moves in the king behind it. Leaves that breadcrumb with that elixir store. Just beautiful, beautiful timing on that king. Uh, dragon is about to go down. Queen's locked on. King locks on to the defensive queen. Smack, 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 and she is toast. So he sends in a few hogs just from the top here, and then he's just really going to start piling the hogs. He's got 19 hogs and three heals left for this base. It doesn't look like it's standing a chance at this point. One heal is going to go down very soon, probably right over this intersection right here once they clear out the mortar and air defense. Then he's got, boom, one for here, and basically he ends up with a swag heal, actually. So here comes a first heal right over that bomb. Just perfect placement on that. Brings in a few reinforcement hogs to keep everything pushing up and through. Cannon goes down. Next cannon goes down. Wizard Tower doesn't stand a chance. So he's going to drop a heal over this Tesla Hell, and he really has a swag heal left. In fact, I think he uses it on his king just for funsies. Sparta just killed it. Good attack. I wish I was awake in the morning when you uh, had messaged me. I would have loved to have done a live plan on attack for this. But it is what it is. You made the recap instead. 
Skeletons are down. Swag heals down over top that king. Bring him back up to full health. Love it. Sparta just killed it. Good job, man. Bam. Three stars. Right. So, hold my beer. I'm pretty convinced this person is a cyborg. Um, <laughs> beer, literally, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, within the first couple minutes of the war came out and just three did the first attack and first three star of the war. Like, not even an hour later, he came out, did another three star, just like it was nothing. Beer, props to you, man. You are a monster. But, ritzy boy, shows you how's it, how it's done on your own base. <clears throat> Number 35, stepping up to take out Hold My Beer. <clears throat> so, Ritz is going to take a shattered entry just above this uh, 9 o'clock section. Creates his funnel. Four wizards are down. He's got three lava hounds and 15 balloons in the bag. Two jumps. He loves this double jump. Even though it's a shattered, it still is very effective because he just jumps over this and then jumps again right away just to get access to that queen. Still has two haste and a rage uh, for his balloons and his air attack. So things are looking pretty good. Uh, the funnel is created. Poison's going down for those CC troops. All poisonable CC troops, really, even if the queen wasn't there, this stuff would all die in the next, like, 10 seconds. Uh, doesn't matter. Queen's going to help speed that process up. King goes in behind. The jump is now down. Both golems are still looking okay. Queen's taking notice now. As soon as this king kind of gets through beating up this uh, gold storage, he's going to lock onto that defensive queen any second now. Uh, the offensive queen is taking out the crossbow, and then she's going to hop in, too, and help finish the job. King locks on, defensive queen is down, his air attack can commence. He's got these two air defense left in this backside, but the nice part is it's super easy path into the air defense, right? One defense, air defense, one defense, air defense, one defense, air defense. So haste goes down to kind of push these loons through that air sweeper that's gonna give him a little bit of trouble. Air defense goes down, Hound's gonna shift over. He's got the third hound down already on that air defense and another haste for these backside loons. Still has three loons in the bag to distract this wizard tower once everything starts moving down into this section. Everything looking great at this point. All those hounds are burst, but all the air defenses are down. Once these sweepers go down, the loons are really just gonna streamline right towards this wizard tower. Boom, there go the distraction loons right on top of that archer tower. Ritzy, great placement on those loons, man. Targeting them like a boss. Wizard Tower is down. That was the last threat to the balloons. One cannon to go, and it is clean up. Ritzy, great attack, man. Couldn't have done it better if you were hold my beer himself. Boom, three stars. All right. So I think I'm going to sneak in one more. I've already shown, I think, six or eight replays. So uh, what did I have here? Oh, yes. Had to show this one. Click clack on Cheatham. Click clack, one of our best attackers, you know, getting some chance. He was in my group for this war, getting to hear him firsthand how he plans attacks and having him help plan your attacks. Just that information is just invaluable. Um, being able to be paired up with some of these guys and really get their insight on your plans and what you're doing and where you're going to drop your troops is just awesome so clack kind of slowly drops his golem drops a couple funnel wizards drops his golem drops a few more funnel wizards uh everything is perfectly placed trash buildings are about to go down tesla's about to go down wall opens up earthquake just opens up a huge section of this base all the way to the queen and opens up both those air defenses so that is his goal here as he has three lava hounds to deal with these last two backside air defense and 14 balloons king goes in heel goes down for the king so really this is a pure max attack right here Defensive queen is going to go down. As soon as she does, you will see these lava hounds get placed. As soon as that air defense goes down, boom, lava hounds start getting sent in now. There they are. Yeah, lava hound, huge, huge distance for that hound to travel, giving his loons the tanking they need just to get to these defenses on the outside. Arch tower goes down. Wizard tower is about to go down. That sweeper in the core is giving them a little bit of trouble, but he's got a full health hound now on top of that air defense. Full health hound on this air defense as well. Loons moving into all section of the uh, sections of the base. Really, when you can break it down like this, and your hounds can be sitting with that much health on the air defense while all of your balloons just work towards them. Uh, again, fairly easy pathing to those air defenses. They really just had you know one or two defenses on the outside before they're on top. Crossbow goes down. Air defense is the last defense remaining. KK just kills it on Cheatham. Nice attack, buddy. Keep it up. Look at all this trash to clean up. It doesn't matter. He's got 
20 pops and 8 balloons and his queen still going. An unbusted golem. Click clack the monster. Nice job. All right. So I don't know. I had a lot of them. I wish I could have shown all of them, but I got to keep this video somewhat reasonable. We had an amazing time. For, uh, if any of the 1.0 guys end up watching this, uh, I just want to express uh, how awesome this was. Um, it was a learning experience for sure, but hopefully it was a learning experience for you guys as well. Uh, I think for the first 12 hours of the war, you guys kind of, <laughs> the way you guys came out swinging, you guys were like, oh, we're just going to roll over. And then we came bouncing off those ropes and really showed you what 2.0 is all about. Uh, unfortunately, we just 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 missed the mark but i'm glad we made it a fun one for you i really hope we can do this again in the future i know the 2.0 guys would love to have a rematch i would love to have a rematch um again obviously these things take a lot of time to plan so hopefully that is already in the works i can't really say because i'm not part of the leadership however awesome awesome time by everyone i honestly was so excited i don't think i slept more than a few hours this weekend it's kind of funny i went to bed about three in the morning uh the night before it started, I was up before my wife woke up in the morning and she woke up. She's like, did you even go to sleep? I'm like, ah, not really. <laughs> you know, just planning and base building and, and it's just, just awesome the way, the way the clans just come together. I can only imagine in the 1.0 just how busy things were. You know, I was on TeamSpeak most of the day that, of battle day and I was just watching the 1.0 channel just filled with people in and out, planning attacks great this is great stuff one this is this is the strategy part of the game that keeps the, the fpc ticking and honestly guys i really really again i hope supercell addresses this for us because once that happens and we don't have to take random matchups against you know questionable clans anymore or people that we don't really want to be facing or like those farming clans that are just not fun uh that is going to elevate this game tenfold so hopefully they do that soon we can do this more often and i can bring you more content like this because honestly i was so excited to do this recap um and i i look forward to, to doing it in the future so for now that about does it for your wisdom from wiser uh just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and uh hopefully this uh video kind of shows that uh you know <laughs> 2.0 truly does suck less until then i'm out